Good morning, traders. Joseph here from Makeup. Just a quick update in regards to uh, some pretty decent, some pretty decent news that uh, came out in the crypto sphere overnight with the uh, SEC suing Binance and its uh, founder. So some there are thirteen um, allegations, um, sorry, charges that have been levied against the company, and um, some of them are quite serious. And um, I won't go through all of them. Um, I think we'll just have to. Uh, Watch as this progresses and develops uh, in coming, you know, coming weeks and months, and um, just sort of try and gauge uh, just how serious they are and what sort of outcome they're going to have. So, could it be as serious as um, all of Binance's operations in the U.S. are um, wound up, or could it just be a series of fines after in a, after agreements? So, I think that will be some of the keys here. Uh, it does bring back some, you know, memories of uh, FTX with, with such a large uh, industry industry player being uh, targeted and having certain you know things leveled against them uh, it definitely looks like there's a, a decent reaction to this overnight and um, we can just see looking through some of the coins um, some of the heavy selling that we did see so the, obviously there was a very negative reaction to it which isn't a surprise and we did see some pretty dramatic drops um, Binance of course being the subject of this uh, was was hit rather hard. I was down, you know, over ten percent. It is fighting back though today. It's up one point two two percent. Bitcoin's up zero point four five and Ethereum zero point three nine. So you can see the Ethereum it did stop at um, that level of support, which is seventeen eighty four. Uh, it's a bit. From an investor and a trader's point of view, it's maybe a touch disappointing that this has happened. Obviously, the issues are a lot bigger than any one individual trader, but the timing of it obviously is not the greatest. Uh, we were just, you know, we continue to see uh, some pretty good forward momentum in uh, the crypto market, and uh, this is after we did see that pretty decent bear market after the uh, plunging sell offs that we saw due to uh, Luna and then FTX. And um, it was getting to a point where we're starting to think, oh, yeah, this is pretty, pretty good. Maybe we are seeing a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel. So hopefully. Well, you know, it's hard to speculate at this point in time, but hopefully this is not as bad as uh, maybe first thought. Uh, but if you do read over some of the reports, uh, you know, some of the some of the char the charges there, they do sound rather uh, serious. Um, one, uh, you know, with mixing client funds and, uh, you know, just maybe not, you know, unauthorized basically transfers between uh, Binance and uh, some of their partners. Those companies are all in an umbrella, un, you know, under it. So, I think with a lot of this coming out, it could also maybe be a good thing in terms of transparency. But we'll have to just see how this all plays out. Now, technically, uh, we've just covered um, Ethereum, so we would would like to just really get a good gauge today to see if we do get some sort of value uh, buyback. Um, if things do continue to uh, sour, we may even see a new attempt by sellers. And um, if we do see a break through this support, that's going to be a bit of a worry for Ethereum. Bitcoin wise, um, we have seen a break of uh, this support level here and a break of this low that was uh, sort of set and defended since, um, sorry, it's been blocked. But this low here, at 25,804. So it's not the best thing to see Bitcoin just below that level, but hopefully uh, we can see some demand coming back into the market. And other coins, so ADA for instance, had a break of uh, its support as well. And um, it's also put in a new low similar to Bitcoin. Um, some of the other markets as well that we have seen some lower breakouts on. So we saw a break of the range here for Dogecoin and uh, we a bit of a test down to these areas here. So again, we do want to see if demand can come back in today. And if we can, maybe if we see buyers treating it as a bit of a, an overreaction yesterday, but that may come down to, you know, updates that continue to come out into the market and um, Ripple, but for instance, has had a, a, it did take a real big sell off yesterday, but at the moment, at this point in the day, we are seeing a bit of support coming in and this trend still does look okay for now. But if we do see another low high forming uh, around this area and then a new push down, that would be a bit of a worry, but we'd just like to see price sort of, you know, maintain above this area here at 47 just to show that the demand is still pretty firm. Uh, Ava, which has been struggling a little bit lately as well, 
after a couple of good days of rally, um, it buckled, and then we, you know, with that news, it did plunge a bit lower, and we did see a break of uh, this low and that previous low here. Uh, but again, we have seen a bit of demand down in uh, this area here. So every time we've seen sort of the market come back into this sort of zone here, we have seen a pretty decent uh, rally get going. So we saw an example here, and uh, we had an example here. So we'll look to see if we do see another example of that as well. So. Again, I'm not going to cover every coin. Uh, this, the story is pretty uh, similar across the majority of them. And now it's really just uh, time to just gauge, keep an eye on the developments as they come out and, and just sort of try and gauge uh, an idea if this was an overreaction or if it is something to worry about. Uh, hopefully for the for the industry, the damage and the uh, is not too severe and we do continue to see uh, coins you know, hold their position and we do continue to see some upward momentum uh, into the rest of the year. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. So I think we will really, we'll come down to uh, really just how serious and how much can be proved and if how much of it actually is true and how much damage that's going to have on uh, traders uh, and investors, um, you know, feelings and ideas of the crypto market in general. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to point out or if you'd like to... Uh, you know, just make any comments about what's happening, please feel free to do so and would love to hear from you. So thank you very much. All the best for your trading today and bye for now.